Hey beauties, welcome back to VLB Halloween. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to get this Medusa look for Halloween. I love this look, it is so bronzy. I think it's so fierce, it's feminine, it's glittery, sparkly. I love everything about it and I've been dying to do this look. This look could be like the long lost sister of my hypnotic mermaid makeup tutorial. If you love mermaids and you love fantasy looks, I'm gonna link it below for you guys to check out. And if you are loving this look, be sure you like this video, subscribe for more, and share with all your friends. Now, let's jump right into the look. Alright, so the first step for our look is to block out the brows. I'm just using a glue stick to do this, and I'm going to be brushing those hairs flat against my skin, and I just like to go over it with a glue stick after it's dried as well to get them extra, extra flat against my skin. And I'm going to be using a primer first to prime my skin and my body, and then going over those brows with a concealer as usual. For foundation, I'm going to use something that's a little bit tanner than my skin tone because I want a really bronzy look today. I'm just blending that all over my face and brows. To lock that in, I'm just going to use some bronzer because I want a really bronzy look. I'm going to use this all over my face and on my body as well, just covering all those pale areas. We're going to start with the Morphe Brushes Copper Spice Palette, and I'm going to use this gold to create this wing that's kind of like going up over the brow into the hairline. And I'm just really winging that out, making it really, really pronounced. And right underneath that, I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow, and I'm going to wing that up in the same direction, and then just smoke it out using a smaller brush. And then I'm just going to add in a little bit more black to really intensify that line, make it really dark. And here I'm taking whatever's left on my brush that I'm using to blend, and I'm going to bring that down my nose to contour a little bit. For the lid, I'm just using a gold eyeshadow from that palette and sweeping it all over and up. And I'm taking a brown shadow from that palette and smoking underneath that black line right above the gold so it blends together really seamlessly. And there's just a little bit of a blend there. So for the liner, I wanted to do something that was really different, really sharp, very wingy, lots of lines going all over the place. So I did a really sharp kind of bird's eye looking wing on the top lash line. On the lower lash line, I went in and created kind of like a round wing under the eye that wings outward. So it makes my eye look really big. And I went back in and sharpened up the inner corners of those wings. Here I'm going to be using the Ghost Sculpt by Makeup Revolution just to mattify that liner. I'm going to be using the Delium Tools Second Collection SFX brushes today. I love these so much, I highly recommend them to you guys, and you do get this bag inside of it that you can store your brushes in. I've just been using these pretty much all Halloween, and I am obsessed. I'm going to be using one of their brushes here to apply some glitter glue, and then go right over the top with some glitter from Violet Boss. This is a beautiful gold, I'm so obsessed. I applied it into that inner corner of the eye between those wings and I went and I applied this also to the lid space because I thought it was so pretty and it would look really really nice in the lid and make this look really pop. Which I'm really glad I added it because I think it's amazing. So pretty and glittery. And for the waterline I'm going to be using a white eyeliner just to line that out and keep the eyes looking really big. We don't want to put any black in that waterline for this look. And here I'm just applying some mascara and feather lashes so I get that winged effect on the eyes. We want this to be really, really dramatic and so you could really see that graphic liner. Here I'm just going to be using an eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and this is a really beautiful gold color. I believe it's called Fortune Teller and I just, I love using this for bronzy looks. So I decided to use it all over my face. And here I'm just going to hollow out the cheeks. I am using that Ghost Sculpt again. And I'm going in and I'm kind of following the line of my cheekbone and going a little bit above it to get these really, really cut cheekbones. And it makes my face look really thin as well. I'm going to do the same thing in the inner corner area of the brow and then bring this up into the forehead. I was looking at pictures of snakes and some snakes, especially cobras, they have a lot of stripes on them. So I wanted to add some stripes to my look and I'm just using that same shade I contoured with to do this right now. And you can kind of blend this out using a fluffy brush. I wanted to add some gold leaf to this look because I thought it was kind of royal and it looks really just beautiful with all this gold we got going on, so I thought why not add some gold leaf? So I applied it underneath that bottom wing and I also added it right in the front of the brow area. 
And I wanted these to be small pieces so I could go in and cut them up first. I'm using a piece of a sponge right here actually to get the scales on my forehead and I had my mom hold this for me so I could get them really, really good. And I'm using a water activated paint to press down into that sponge piece. So you could use fishnets, but if you want smaller scales, I would recommend just getting a scrubby sponge from the store and then ripping a piece off of it and doing what I'm doing here. Just pressing the paint in and I use very little water. I was really, really happy with the result. So I'm going to be using this Backstage Glow from Victoria's Secret. I'm obsessed with this lotion. I'm not 100% sure if they still call it Backstage Glow, but I will try to find something similar for you guys down below. They usually make these every year for the fashion show, and they make you look so tan. Like, if you're pale, I'm pretty pale. This literally makes you look so bronze. Like, you've been in the sun tanning for days. You've been to an island. I love it. So I had to use it for this look. I'm going to be using a black lip liner for the lips. I'm going to line them out and really pronounce that Cupid's bow. And this lip kit is from Makeup Revolution. And it comes with the liquid lipstick inside, so I'm going to use that black liquid lipstick to fill in the rest of my lips, top and bottom. And you want them to be really black. We're going to do an ombre lip today, so I'm going to take that same gold shade that I used to blend all over my face for that golden glow. I'm going to use this on the center of the lips. I'm just going to tap this right into the center. I'm using that black shadow to really deepen up that ombre effect on the lips, and this is from the Ghost Sculpt palette. And going in with my Delium Tools brush, I'm going to be using that golden eyeshadow we just used on the lips to bronze up that body, and I'm just kind of following my bone structure on my chest and also like around the halo of my body. And here I'm using that scrubby sponge net again to add some more scales just to my shoulder. I didn't want this to overpower the look, so I just added a few more, and I also added some to my neck. And it really does look like snake skin, which I love. I went over that with that gold shadow again. I used this shadow pretty much throughout the whole look. And then right in between those scales, I added some gold leaf. I'm gonna be using my secret sauce right here, guys, which is a beautiful glitter. I'm gonna be applying this all over the scales. And I'm also going to add this pretty much all over my body, essentially. I just thought this needed tons of glitter, sparkle, and shine, so I dabbed it into all of the glittery areas under the eyes. I added it to the chest. You can see here how glittery and pretty it is against all that gold leaf in the scales. And if you're going to a party, you definitely need to add some glitter to the body, for sure. You can see me, I'm like loving this right now. <laughs> I'm gonna apply my Halloween contacts here. Pop those in. I went for some yellow ones. I'm going to be using this eyeliner from M Cosmetics. I'm just going to add a little bit more darkness to this liner. I felt like it wasn't dark enough, so I really wanted it to be very black, and I really like this liner because it's super sharp, so I really winged that out with it. And now I'm going to add a little bit more of that glitter under the eyes. I can't stop with the glitter, man. <laughs> I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Highlighting Palette. I'm gonna take that shade Eclipse and apply this basically all over my body. The key to this look is you wanna kinda look sweaty, look kind of hot, you know? I mean, you wanna look hot, but you wanna look hot, hot, like you're actually, like, the temperature of your skin is hot. <laughs> so apply, like, lots of highlighter all over the body, bronzer, everything like that. You wanna apply a lot of it. And here I'm gonna be coating my fingertips in gold. I do this a lot with my looks. I usually do, like, a color or black, but I decided to go with gold and then do the fingertips in black with some glitter dripping down. I'm gonna pop on my wig and my accessories. So this is like a snake necklace. Pop that on, it went awesome with the look. And then my wig. I did add some dreadlock clip-ins to it that are brown, just to kind of add a little spice to it and customize it a bit. And this headpiece I did make myself out of some plastic snakes, spray painted them and added glitter. If you guys wanna know more about that, comment down below and I will be sure to answer back. But as you can see, this Medusa look is complete, and here's a look at the outfit. Yes! I couldn't help myself. Alright you guys, I hope you love this Medusa Halloween look. I am so obsessed with this look, you have no idea. I've wanted to do this look for so long, so if you guys are loving it, then be sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think. Like this video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more, because we have more Halloween looks coming. And I will see you all in my next Halloween tutorial.